retirement is looking better and better every single time I race. It feels like something goes wrong or I do something stupid. All right, good morning everybody from Wickenburg. Right, so uh, we're at uh, Solid's Day of the Desert. It's, uh, it's pretty early, I think it's six. I gotta get down to registration in tech. I wasn't able to do it last night because I got stuck in traffic in Tucson. It was horrible. The whole highway was, was uh, shut down. So anyways, I got in late, uh, managed to make myself some dinner, get to bed, toss and turn all night until my alarm went off this morning and uh, made some breakfast and I'm ready to get going. As usual, they've got a really tough course planned for us um, and they do their best to make it sound like it's going to be the worst thing you ever did. Uh, I can't wait till the rider meeting. Um, you know, last year I kind of... I kind of did a little, uh, I did a little joke on the, about the riders meeting because they sounded, they made it sound so scary, like it was going to be so tough. And we've got a tough race plan for you today, and it's going to be a long one. Now you probably won't make it, and you should quit now, but if you still want to give it a shot, well as long as you finish test one, you're still considered a finisher, not a quitter. Now count on this being the most miserable you've ever been in your entire life by the end of test two. So if you want to quit there, you can as well. But whatever you do, don't even think about starting test three unless you want to die of dehydration. It was, it was tough, but it wasn't that tough. Like they made it sound really bad. So let's see how they do this time. All right, let me tell you how your day is going to go. You're going to start in the wash, all right? Starting at nine o'clock. We're gonna start by row, by class, just like a hair scrambles, okay? So double A's, open A's, 250, 200 A's, so on and so forth. Dead engine, um, one, every one minute. Um, and you're gonna straddle your, your rear fender, basically, to start the race, to get a little more separation in the wash. There is no way to mark every turn and every danger out here. It's twist, the trails are twisty, the Jeep roads are twisty. You have to ride the course, what you see. It's a timed event. So you're not racing each other, right? You're racing the clock for the day. So be courteous, let faster people pass, but race what you can see. Man, no matter how much time there is, it never seems like there's enough time. I'm getting dressed right now. Um, but I did take care of uh, the bike. So here's the deal, like I, I, I couldn't sleep. I, uh, I kind of laid here and tossed and turned all night. And then I got, obviously I finally fell asleep, but then I woke up before my alarm and I kind of sat here knowing it was gonna go off and just kind of like in my head planning out how the morning would go. Cause a lot of the time you find yourself like overestimating how much time you have and if you don't have a really good plan, sometimes you don't get everything done before the race that you would have liked to get done. So this morning, I got breakfast made, uh, got my suspension set up, got my uh, got the airs and, and everything checked in the tires, the whole bike's done. Got down to tech inspection and registration, got back here, and then I kind of like, oh, I got all this stuff done, I got time to mess around, but going around saying hi to everybody, shaking hands. Um, but there really isn't time for socializing. I mean. Before you know it, you're like, oh man, I gotta get dressed, get down there. And then there's always these little odds and ends that you forget. So it's probably a good idea to make a list if you plan on starting this kind of stuff or if you're already a racer, you know what I'm talking about. It's probably a good time to make, or a good idea to make a list and have a plan. Um, unlike most races where I kind of hang out after, um, this one, it uh, depends on what time I get done, but I'm, I'm trying, if, if I get done early enough to get out of here in a hurry so I can go watch 49ers and the Packers play for the NFC Championship. Go Niners! I can't wait. Alright guys, uh, I'll catch you on the helmet cam. Alright, so here we are at the start line and uh, the very first row is way the hell out there. I don't know if you can see that from here. Probably not. And then this is the 40C rows. Nathan Burr! SP suspension! What's up, buddy? The first, like, Mile is gonna be just in wide open. Not me. <laughs> I know. I'm taking it easy. I got I got sore ribs and there's people here that are way faster than me. I'm not trying. I just want to see where I stack up. Ride where you're comfortable. Yeah, I want to see where I stack up without having to push it too hard. Ride where you're comfortable and a little bit faster. That's it. That's what I'm doing today. This is really a test to see where I'm at, you know. And I know I'm not in great shape.
strike my camera getting hit with roost. Well, there's somebody down. So visibility is crap. Like, I don't know what you guys can see through this camera. But, uh, it is bad right now. My back got some rocks. That hurts. <sighs> Shit. Take a little break here. Figure out what's wrong with my back. I think it's pretty jacked up. I cactus down my pants too. Get this sorted out. And I'll be back on the bike. I looked the bike over and uh, it doesn't seem to be anything wrong. I got some, I think road rash on my back. Some cactus in my butt. But might as well finish the test. Gotta get going again.
hard parts, the visibility is so bad. I'm taking the worst lines. <sighs> that wreck has got me riding careful now. If I wasn't already. I can hear a bike behind me. By changing the format to a hair scramble, like technically people should not be moving out of the way for others. Which is why they should have left it at Enduro. Also, as cool as it is to have a big start like that, and I liked it, um, except for one major problem. If we're gonna start this early in the morning, and we're driving it and we're riding into the sun to start that's just a bad idea not being able to see and then of course it's not all that that's not the only reason i mean i was riding above my head a little bit and then i panicked i might have been able to survive that had i not tried to get out of the rut I'm 
struggling. To turn well. For the skill and confidence I gain in one area, I just end up losing it someplace else. Being fat certainly doesn't help. Freaking people and see. <laughs> Look at Bill. Wow, Bill C. Sandbagger.
Chris. I don't think he's enjoying this course. And honestly, I feel like I'm a little bit above my head right now. So, I wouldn't blame him one bit. You got it, Chris? You need help? I know, it's rough, dude. You got it, buddy, you got it. Sorry man, sorry! Heads up! You good? Looks like Chris checked out on me. Go, Chris, go! Chris go checking out on me again I'm too tired to chase I gotta get better shape
get him, get him! Every race, something gets broke, something gets hurt, something gets damaged. Look at this. So, I finished the first uh, loop, and uh, once I got off the bike and I rested a little bit, I could feel it really deep in my rip in my back. Uh, both my kidneys are like, they feel like somebody's been punching on me the whole ride. So, I can go back out there. I'm, I'm sure I could go back out there and ride some more, but. I'm just not going to. I'm done. Uh, I imagine the video won't make it look that bad and people are gonna think whatever they think like I'm in pain and I'm tired of being in pain and I just want to break so I'm out. I'm bowing out of this one uh, after the first test. Uh, the good news is um, I could get out of here in time to surprise my wife and uh, I'm sure she'd be really happy to see me. Anyways, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't give you like a great finish. Uh, this is my favorite race course, but I just, between being in pain and not feeling comfortable on my bike, it's uh, it's it's like I'm just asking for trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and bow up. That's it. All right, thanks. Sorry.